This is the first ever, oh my fucking microphone. First ever kitchen store, right there. At the market, which has been open since 1907. I just had Revel in, we were looking at like oh, really? Steph's videos that you had done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, want an espresso? So Nevek is gonna be a kind host, sure, make like, us a little espresso. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen yeah. these guys before? No, I haven't. Oh. So this is a, a cool thing about coming here is they're very gracious and you could get an espresso as well while you walk around. Yeah. Off the top of your head, do you know when this store started? 1972. 72? 1972. The first uh, woman in Washington to get a business license. Oh, wow. Our really? business loan. Oh, so business this loan. place was started by the first woman to get a business loan in the Washington state? state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, today's National Women's Day, so that's kind of fitting. Oh, wow. Do they still do oh, industry discount here? Yeah, 10%. That's another thing, industry discount. So if you're a cook at a restaurant, then you That's get industry break discount. Break away from you guys for just a second. Right. Yeah, 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 thank you. Um, I guess you were right, Benji. What? what? <laughs> Someone didn't know me here. <laughs> Everybody knows you back. So that's um, something that I used to take advantage of, making shit money. I would take advantage of their industry dick discount. Dick count. <laughs> industry dick count. No, industry discount. That just got into my video, by the way. And it's, I think he said 10%, so that's fucking steal. Do you want to drink my shot? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just going to go around and show you guys like my recommendations, like what I recommend for your kitchen from the first ever kitchen store in the country. A nice Dutch oven, and you can only usually find these nice ones at a nice kitchen store like Sur La Table, or even like William Sonoma, stuff like that. A nice Dutch oven. My go-to is Staub. I also realized I was pronouncing this shit wrong forever. It's called Stobe. Um, but yeah, they're kind of expensive, but they last forever. Um, this one's 400, look, this one's $419, but look, this one's on sale and it's bigger for $239. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the floor price, I don't know. There's also some fun ones with a nice chicken on it. And then of course, a nice cast iron skillet. They're enameled, so that just means like it's coated cast iron. So you don't have to worry about it rusting and all that stuff. Like you can actually scrub this down with some soap and it's all good as opposed to something like a lodge cast iron, which you actually have to take care of and like you can't really scrub this down with soap and stuff like that, so just keep that in mind. Tiny little fryer baskets, I guess, to serve your fries. Okay, I'm not getting sidetracked here. Um, what else would I recommend? Oh my gosh, okay, that was right behind me. This is perfect. Okay, so microplanes. I was actually trying to explain to my family when I was visiting what this was and they didn't know, so I guess maybe a lot of people don't know. This guy was my best friend working at restaurants. Actually, I'm just gonna buy another one today because I could use a new one. I'll probably just buy it in black. Um, but yeah, this guy, perfect for grating nuts, cheeses, all that kind of shit. And then this smaller one would be for like nutmeg, smaller things like that. Aside from this place having a really sick view because it's like right at the front and center of the market, they're pans. All clad pans at super good deals. Look, $49.96 for a brand new all clad pan. So they got the deals here. All clads are something that will last you forever as well. In the restaurants, this is the type of knife they use. This is the house knife. So like this is a solid beater knife, but also it's just a really good knife. It's got like a great edge, like also the handle is very grippy. It's like one of those like plastic grippy handles. These are solid and you don't have to worry about them getting fucked up because it's not that expensive. They also make smaller ones like that. They have like a whole wide array. Okay, so this is matching. So I definitely need to pick up one of these. I actually wore this in their app when I was teaching a Sur La Table class. So that's gonna have to go as well. Hello, my old friend. A bench scraper. This is something that will get so much use in my kitchen. Not only for cleaning things, but also for cutting things like pasta, for scraping things. Like this is just like a fucking must in my book. So offset spatulas are always in my arsenal, mainly because it's good for plating things and it's also good for cooking too. Like whenever I'm like cooking, say a pasta or a gnocchi, I would cut with this guy because it's thin enough and also like for spreading sauces, like whatever. I totally forgot there's a sale shelf on here, or a clearance shelf, I guess. 
Bob Kramer, are you familiar? Yeah, the Kramer, yeah. So we got there's a white handle, I haven't seen that. Is the Cumulus or exclusive to Sir Latab? Uh, that's a Sir Latab exclusive? Yeah, All right, I gotta see that then, let's see. We mm -hmm. So also they have a really good knife section and Mark is the master at the knife section here. Uh, <laughs> what do we got? What do you want? There yeah, you so the Sir Latab exclusive. Yeah, so see, Mark passed the knife the right way. You always wanna pass the knife like this, proper etiquette. You never wanna pass the knife like that. So this is Sir Latab exclusive Kramer knife. But like I said, you can always go with one of those beater knives, but this is just a little nicer. I love Kramers. I'll probably have to get Meredith to send me this because I really like it. Here, if you wanna try the, uh, the Nikiri. Oh, the Nikiri is also a good one too. <laughs> It kind of makes your life easier, I've learned. If you want to just like do like a flat cut. Another good thing here would have to be the cutting boards. I always go with Booze Block. Is there any other brand that you'd recommend here? I guess Sir Latab has their own, right? Uh, Teak House is a pretty solid. Teak House? Yeah. Is this Teak House right here? Yeah, all the, uh... yep, all of these guys. So this is Teak House. I know this one's like America's Chess Kitchen's favorite cutting board. Oh, what is this one? It's a teak. So the nice thing with like teak wood compared to your maples and walnuts uh -huh. is um, it's slightly softer, so it's not gonna nearly like last nearly as long from wear and tear. Yeah. But um, teak has a lot of natural, um, like a high natural oil content. So, so you this- don't have to baby this nearly as much as say like a maple board. So this wood naturally has a lot of oil content, therefore you don't have to oil it as much. Yep. Oh wow, that's they cool. They build a lot of wood boats out of uh, teak because of that. I didn't realize that. And is this teak as well or no? Yep. Teak, oh, wow. in green versus the edge green. Of oh wow. Sky. And then once you do that initial coat of uh, mineral oil on here. Hey, this really is like not bad, 115? Nah, that's what I use for my home bar. Actually. The booze blocks of these are like 400 bucks, I think. Wow. This teak's a little bit easier to source compared to like maple. Shoot, there. okay. Well, something that every cook should have is this guy as well, dude. So um, these like Peugeots, I think it's like a car brand, but the Peugeots is something I was always taught that are like the best and they're so freaking reliable too. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, sorry about that angle. Um, yeah, that's good wood right there. Um, now, I never thought about what he just said, which is you don't want the ones that lock up. And there's one reason why. Solid tongs, that's another thing I would recommend. Actually, this is one of the best things I can ever fucking recommend you is tongs. Um, I like the ones that have like these little ripply thingies. This is what they should look like. I am not into this type of shit. Like anything that has like the plastic that can melt or this stupid like little pull tab. I'm not a fan of these. This is what I want. I use these for everything, for stirring. I put them on my oven door and it just like hangs easily. Um, I'm more used to the ones that are a touch smaller, but this length is actually good. Best tongs ever. <laughs> these are the best tongs ever. So he was asking my favorite thing I've mm -hmm. seen so far. This is my those favorite thing. These are the best tongs. Mm -hmm. Thanks for showing me around, dude. Yeah, anytime, <laughs> Appreciate man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Cool. There you are, man. Thanks so much. Dude, awesome. I think I've got plenty in the store already, dude. I need more, though. You need more? Okay, well, I'm not going to film anymore, but you can see the rest on his channel because he's going to film more shit. 